Hey guys, Ryan here from Movie Nerds. You just got the news that Ben Affleck is no longer Batman. Well, that could be DC's worst idea ever. And we're going to talk about that right now. Batman! So news just came out that Ben Affleck has been kicked off the Batman movie. Now, this potentially is one of the stupidest ideas that I have heard. I don't even know, since anything. What a terrible idea. Probably since James Gunn being kicked off of Guardians of the Galaxy 3. You have the perfect Batman here. The fans have reigned behind him and loved everything that he's done. I mean, there wasn't a person that watched Justice League and or even Batman v Superman and said, you know what, the movie was terrible, but the thing that was great about it was Ben Affleck's Batman. He was Batman. He had everything going for him and everyone that liked that Batman, all they wanted to see was a Batman movie. And now that's been taken away from us. That's pretty disappointing. I'm heavily disappointed about it because I wanted to see that Batman movie and I've wanted to see it for quite some time. I am a massive Batman, Batman fan. All I wanted to see was Ben Affleck as Batman. But now we're not gonna see it. So what does that mean? Why did they do that? What came to this decision? Well, Justice League didn't make any money. Batman v Superman made no money. They both had Ben Affleck in it. So what's their choices here? Do they continue on with this potentially uh, bad franchise or do they rein in someone new and go something different? It's really confusing because in thinking that, if they want to go this new route, shouldn't they recast everyone? Why have Jason Momoa as Aquaman? Why have Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman? If you're going to recast Batman, recast everyone. It's such a stupid idea to just keep all these actors that you've enjoyed in the roles for other things, but not keep the rest. Henry Cavill is awesome as Superman. If he gets kicked off the Superman franchise, who the hell else is going to be Superman? There's no one else that is out today that could be a better Superman than what Henry Cavill is. It's just not possible. Henry Cavill was made to be Superman. And I think, honestly, so was Ben Affleck. I think this is potentially one of the worst ideas DC and Warner Brothers has probably ever made. And I don't know if it's Matt Reeves' uh, choice or if it was his, you know, direction that sent it in that kind of, um, you know, way for him to be removed from the film. But if it was, DC and Warner Brothers probably should have looked at that and just said, hang on a second, are we really heading in the right direction listening to Matt Reeves? Because I just think that he doesn't have that backing that he probably should have to be able to take this franchise on a on a you know a great road of awesome movies. Sure he did really well with the Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and the War of the Planet of the Apes. But what else did he do? What else has he done? He made two great movies, but Ben Affleck has made like 30 great movies. He's a great director. He's a great actor. He's a great producer. He knows what he's doing. He's in, he's a great writer. He's won an Oscar for for writing. What has Matt, uh, Matt Reeves done? Nothing. Ben Affleck should have been Warner Brothers' answer for this. Listen to Ben Affleck. He knows what he's doing. Every movie that he's made has done really well with fans. Everyone loves The Town. Everyone loves Argo. Let's not talk about the other one. But, you know, he had a pretty good go ahead at these films. And I just think that taking him off this was a terrible idea. Originally, he was set to direct it. He was set to write it. He The, the original script was by Ben Affleck. So... If that's the case, if that's the, if that's the script that Matt Reeves was basing this movie on, surely Ben Affleck was made for this role. So what's the upside of this? Do we get someone else in the role? Could we be excited about this new person being in the role? Sure, I mean, definitely, we could be excited. It could be anyone. There's a huge amount of actors out there that could be Batman and could do it really well. But the downside of that is that do the fans love it? The fans have really got behind Ben Affleck. They loved him in the role. It's watching the pouring of Twitter feeds today saying, you know, how angry fans are that, that DC and Warner Brothers have got rid of him. It's just astounding. It's if they could have had a concert, they probably would have filled it with 2 million people that would have been complaining about Ben Affleck not being Batman anymore. Sure, there's those fans out there that didn't like him as Batman, but I think there's more fans out there that do. And giving that chance again to bring on a new actor that... It's, it's a 50-50. Will fans like him? Will they hate him? I mean, who knows? It, it's, not, it's not possible to no. know. But what we did know is that fans loved Ben Affleck. So it seemed to be more of a, you know, a win to go with the Ben Affleck route rather than bringing in someone else. 
And I also don't think Matt, Ray Matt Reeves' name is such a household name that people are excited about his film coming out. I mean, the, 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 when the trailer comes out for the Batman, it's not going to say from director Matt Reeves. It's going to say from the director of Dawn of the Planet of the Apes because Matt Reeves just isn't known as a name. So with that aside, you could have had you know, Ben Affleck, written and directed by Ben Affleck and starring Ben Affleck as the Batman. But now we're going to have, you know, from the director of Dawn of the Plenty of Apes comes so-and-so as you've never seen him before in this potential role that could be great or could potentially be terrible. I don't know what DC's thinking here. DC just seems to be run by 50,000 idiots that don't understand what you're doing. If you're going to make a franchise that has a realm of DC characters, like the DCU was heading in with the Justice League and Batman v Superman, or you're going to make standalone movies that don't have connecting characters, pick one. Right now you're going with both. And it's going to end in disaster. Whatever happen whatever's happening at DC and Warner Brothers right now, it is a massive clusterfuck of I don't know what I'm doing with these characters. And somebody's going to work it out and somebody's going to do it really fucking quick before this whole franchise and the whole DC universe just goes up in flames. They seem to have got it in the animated side of things. Why can't they do it in the feature films? Can they just get the people that are running the DC animated universe to come over? Oh wait, they already did. Jeff Johns, what are you doing, mate? Who's actually running this, this studio? So many people that are well known in the DC universe have come in and could have potentially done great things, but everyone just seems to have no idea what they're doing. It's already been proven with Marvel. Just follow what Marvel do. Just do what they do. Don't make one movie, Man of Steel, and then, you know, bring out this double header franchise with Batman v Superman and then just make Justice League. It took almost like four years or five years for, Bat um, for Marvel to get there with that kind of situation. Look at what they did. They built a single film on each character and then they built a franchise. I don't know what's happening and I have no idea and I don't think anyone will ever know what people are thinking at, at DC and Warner Brothers. But this idea, I just think, is an absolute terrible idea. But I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. Um, uh, let's talk about it. Let's work out why this happened, how it happened, and who you think could be the next Batman. Because at this point, it could be anyone. It could be me. Hello. Probably not. Until next time, I'm Ryan, and I'll catch you nerds at the movies. <laughs> But maybe not seeing the Batman. Probably not seeing the Batman. I'll probably see the Batman. All right, I'll fine. I'll be there. Take my money already. <laughs>